Well, we have been monitoring the situation in Japan closely ever since the earthquake and tsunami occurred. Uh, we have put together a command center. We have people in touch with um, other groups in the industry, other utilities and information agencies, government agencies, to monitor the situation, get as much information as we can, and understand how uh, we may need to use that here at TVA. We're certainly interested in understanding the situation in Japan and learning any lessons that we can from it to apply to our operations here. Well, we're in contact through our industry organizations and other government organizations with the situation in Japan. Uh, TVA has offered any assistance that we can provide directly to uh, Japan and as of now we have not been asked for specific assistance, however, uh, we are taking all steps to make sure that we're monitoring the situation, staying closely in touch with it, and would certainly be willing to provide any assistance if requested. Well, as Senator Alexander mentioned yesterday in his speech, uh, I believe that it's far too early to assess the total impact of this. We're still watching the events unfold in Japan. Uh, much of the information that's available now is unverified information, and so I believe we'll have to wait to understand uh, the facts and the events as they've really occurred and what the uh, actions may need to be to be taken and lessons to be learned out of this. Well, TVA's plants are designed, built, and operated to be safe. That's our number one mission. Our plants are designed to be very robust against all types of occurrences, natural occurrences, as well as others. They're operated safely uh, through procedures and uh, guidelines that allow the operators and other personnel to maintain safe operations, including procedures that provide guidance in situations that are outside of normally anticipated occurrences so that uh, even in cases of things that you might not expect to happen, there's guidance that gives operators and personnel a menu of options to pursue to maintain safety at the plant in all conditions. I believe that nuclear power is an important part of the energy mix today and in the future for our country and for TVA. There will be lessons learned out of the events in Japan. We're studying those events closely as they unfold and we'll understand those lessons learned. We will apply those going forward to make our operations even better. Um, but I believe that as we take those actions, uh, we will continue to improve and move forward in our use of nuclear at TVA. We're in contact with the Institute of Nuclear Power Operations, the industry operational uh, arm, and uh, through their efforts and collaboration uh, with the industry, they are issuing a set of directives to all of the plant operators in the U.S., um, which will have each plant assess their readiness and capabilities against certain events, including flooding, uh, loss of AC power, those sorts of things, uh, to make sure that the plants uh, have reviewed their procedures and their posture and are at a heightened state of readiness. Nuclear is an important part of our energy mix today in the United States and for TVA and I believe will be an important part of our mix going forward. Uh, as I said before and as Senator Alexander has said recently, it's much too early to assess the lessons learned from the events going on in Japan and to have applied those, but we certainly want to take advantage of any information coming out of this that will help make us better and make our operations better in the future. Currently TVA operates six nuclear units with a total combined capacity of just under 7,000 megawatts of generation or seven million kilowatts of generating capacity. Uh, we're currently 
in construction at Watts Bar Unit 2, which would bring on an additional 1,100 megawatts of capacity and have evaluated potential future options for adding more nuclear capacity in the future. Currently, our nuclear plants supply about 20 percent of our electric energy to our customers. And with the additions that we have planned or underway, uh, that could grow to 28 to 30 percent of our energy supply over a period of the next 10 years. Well, first of all, um, I'd say that our hearts go out to uh, the people in Japan, the citizens in Japan affected by this terrible natural disaster, as well as the workers at the Japanese plants who have stayed and worked under very adverse conditions to cope with the impacts of this natural disaster, and so our hearts do go out to those folks. For the employees at TVA, first of all, I would say thank you for the work that you do and are doing. People are working hard every day to continue to supply safe, reliable, low-cost energy uh, to the people in the valley, and we appreciate the hard work that folks are putting in, especially during this time. And going forward, that I would want everybody at TVA to know that we're looking at this situation closely in Japan, we're going to understand the lessons learned from these events, and we're going to incorporate those into our operations and our plans to make sure that we continue to provide safe and reliable power for the future.